two, one, go. Hi, um, I'm David Gilday and this is Mike Dobson and we brought along a robot um, that can solve a Rubik's Cube and we're attempting to break a, the Guinness World Record for solving the Rubik's Cube as fast as possible with a robot. It consists of um, a Lego um, construction which is able to manipulate the Rubik's Cube using four hands and there's a, a smartphone which is used to do the overall control of the um, solve so the camera is used in the, in the smartphone to take pictures of each face of the Rubik's Cube once it's taken all of the pictures, it works out what the solution is and then instructs the LEGO to actually manipulate it and solve it. There are some official rules about, for example, how the Rubik's Cube is scrambled. Um, uh, there's a, a human competition which is run by the World Cube Association and they have a set of rules for defining how the cube scrambled in, involving a computer program to, to generate a random position. And then we have to ensure that the cube is placed in the robot um, and that every, all the timing starts at, uh, at exactly the right point. It started for me really with Rubik's Cubes and Lego about three years ago, and I think Mike about five years ago. About five years ago. Um, so I think we were both inspired by seeing other Lego robots solving Rubik's Cubes on, on the internet. Mike's strengths are in the, in the Lego, in the construction, and mine are probably more in the software, so I was finding it really difficult to make my Lego robot go any faster. And I think Mike wanted a bit of help with the software. So instead of competing, we just decided that it would be better to team up and you know, work together on CubeStormer 2. I think, I think the fact that we've done it just with Lego has been the biggest restriction. There's only so much power you can get out of a Lego motor, and we are pushing it to the absolute limit to achieve this. Um, so maybe moving forward, if LEGO produce bigger motors, we will get faster. Go.